Hi, I, my name's Luke. I'm a cameraman. I like to go on hikes. I like to travel and I like to collect video games. <laughs> Tally recently, and I, th I must have sat around the, I'd say total 150-ish mark of games I've actually played and finished, like rolled the credits, but that's not a lot when the total number is probably almost 2,500 now. <laughs> In high school, I'd sit and just browse Wikipedia and find all these like games that no one had ever heard of and I and, and like hand write lists. I've still got a list I wrote in high school of like all these games that I wanted to get. This is like 10 years ago. Even now I still haven't crossed all of those off. I've got like maybe 90% of them. One day, one day I'll find those missing games. But there was a little game called Dragon Quest VIII. That game I just fell head over heels in love with. I played it for over a hundred hours. It was like an escape, I guess. I remember like on weekends I would sit there for like seven or eight hours a day and mum would be like, like get out of your room and I'm like, mom! Mom, I just gotta beat the dragon, <laughs> you know, like just your typical brat of a, of a teenager who's stuck to his television. Falling in love with that game also was the reason why I fell in love with the genre, JRPGs, Japanese role-playing games. I was like, where can I find more of these, you know? And that mixed with the fact that those games are often the more sought after games when you're collecting because they have low print runs, but high demand. So to fall in love with that idea of that genre and then realize that like, that's a great genre to collect as well. That's where, that's that first list that I wrote when I was in high school, almost all of those were JRPGs. And that's where it started. It just built from there and then just got out of control. <laughs> Golden Sun, Fox. I don't know if there was like a particular moment where I was like, oh, I'm a collector now. Right from the start when I was finding these like unusual games, it was always really exciting when you would go into a store and there'd be one sitting there on the shelf and you're like, oh my goodness, like everyone's struggling to find this, but here's one for me, you know? I guess that thrill of the chase was, and still is a lot of the appeal for me. I think that's what has kept me coming back for more. It's kind of addictive, you know? You kind of, you, you, you're always wanting to search for the next big find, I guess. Um, and when you do, when you find something really good for like really cheap, um, it's a really good feeling. It's a really good feeling. I might grab this one.